So it looks like over at Computex, there is a demo of a PC running a Ryzen 9 9900X 12 core processor. That's one of the new, as of yet, unreleased processors from AMD in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. And this is the built-in benchmark, and we can see 1080p high settings. So, and it's running on a uh, Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU, game version 1.04. We can see the uh, the graphics drivers version for the GPU. In other words, it seems like we should be able to do some comparisons against the Ryzen 9 9900X. And uh, I originally found this information in this WCCF Tech article, and within this article. It, there were they were already quoting people trying to compare with it. The problem is that the the comparisons being made weren't really working out. So I just spent an unreasonable amount of my afternoon running uh, avatar benchmarks to try to pin down what settings they were actually using in in the uh, in, in the screenshot because it's it's not quite as simple as it looks. 1080p high. Oh man, the uh, <laughs> if only it was that simple. Because uh, people were comparing it to like Tom's hardware benchmarks, but it looks like they have medium preset using FSR3 quality at 1080p. So it's just clearly not the same settings. Uh, but then you can see other people uh, posting uh, tweet results uh, comparing, first of all, using a different GPU. If you're using an RTX 4090, even if you're CPU limited at those graphic settings, um, you, you still, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU instead of an AMD GPU, there's differences in driver overhead. Uh, NVIDIA typically has higher driver overheads, so you reach lower overall frame rates uh, when, even when CPU limited. So this comparison against the 13900K, I'm not convinced is that useful. Also, when we look at things like the overall score, uh, GPU usage, frame rates, and things like that. Uh, I, I ended up going down quite the rabbit hole when I was running my own tests. So let's pop over to this. So this is a test that I just ran this afternoon when I thought, hey, I'll run a quick benchmark and get a video out covering this uh, because it seems easy, right? 7900 XTX, uh, game version 1.04, same graphics drivers they were running, and I'll, I'll get my 7800X3D in the running here and see how it goes. However, we notice a problem right away. Number one, my frame rate is way, way lower. Also, I appear to be GPU limited and my actual benchmark score is higher. So this screenshot uh, it says tech power up in the background. So I did track down the article it seems to be coming from. It says hands-on with the AMD Ryzen 9 9950X Zen 5 desktop processor, but um, as I uh, was reading this, it doesn't seem to give us any indication of the actual graphic settings being used here. And that's where, like I said, um, we, we have this screenshot. It says 1080p high. This is where the game settings get a little more confusing because like I said, I just ran the 1080p high benchmark and the first thing I want you to notice is the GPU percentage. So here, uh, if we're looking at this GPU percentage, I think I, I could resize this window for us to, to see it all a little bit better here. There we go. Uh, but if you look at the GPU percentage, uh, this is indicating that we are mostly GPU limited in this test, not CPU limited. And our overall frame rate numbers are a lot lower than uh, what they were seeing in their result. And again, if I skip forward in the benchmark to the end result, uh, my overall total score from the benchmark is higher. So that's indicating a couple of things to me. Yes, they're running at high settings at 1080p output, but there's other things that you can play with in the graphics settings uh, that uh, could affect these results. So I've actually got my um, uh, other PC set up here running the benchmark so I can kind of show you what I'm getting at. So basically all we know is the graphics settings are set to high. What we don't know is the video settings. And so here's where I had to play around with a lot of different things. One thing is, are they using frame generation? And another thing, are they using FSR upscaling? Uh, and if so, at what settings? And this game also has a weird scaling mode, whether you're scaling to a fixed output versus whether you're biased to a 4K output, which I, I'm not even sure I fully understand because most games don't have that option with FSR. Uh, the point is there was a lot to play around with. So uh, I think I've possibly isolated the settings they were using, but let me take you down a little bit of a journey as I did that. So the next thing that I tried was I tried staying at 1080p high settings 
Um, but I went ahead and turned on frame generation because I noticed that the overall frame rates were so much higher that it might make sense to turn on frame generation to see if I could match. And that helped quite a bit. So when I turned on frame generation, what we're seeing now is see the game still reports 1080p high settings like we saw in the screenshot. Uh, but notice my overall average frame rate is now 231. Again, when we compare to the screenshot here, they were averaging 229. And so if you take, a, uh, take that as basically being a match, what we would say then is, oh, we're getting roughly the same performance. But wait, there's a bit of a problem. The score here is 5,201 in this tech power up screenshot. If I go ahead and open up uh, the score I got, it's 8,218, a much higher score. So here's the thing. Uh, in the avatar benchmark, changing the, uh, the resolution scaling also affects your final score, but again, isn't reported on this screen that we have a screenshot of. So then I started playing around with uh, adjusting the underlying scaling. And also what if I didn't have frame generation on, but I played around with the underlying scaling. So next thing I tried is this. So this is the result when I did uh, 1080p high FSR performance upscaling, but no frame generation. Here I'm getting uh, a score of 169. Uh, but notice I'm still not that, uh, my GPU usage, again, I'm using a 7900 XTX like they are. My GPU usage is up around 92% average, um, meaning, I, and by the way, I'm not sure this is usage or if it's maybe the percent to which I'm GPU limited uh, is another way of looking at how, how I think this might be reporting it. So uh, either way, the point is this isn't showing what looks to be a fully CPU limited result. And when we look at the, uh, the, the um, screenshot here, with a 63 uh, for the GPU, uh, it does appear to be much more um, uh, GPU limited, the, the, the uh, sorry, CPU limited, not GPU limited. Also, there's the score difference. This is 5,201 uh, and this score is 169. So something still doesn't seem quite right there. So I tried out a few more things. The next thing was leaving it on FSR performance upscaling, but kicking on frame generation. Now I'm getting my GPU percentage down closer to what we're seeing in the screenshot. Uh, my overall frame rate is 269, which is now above what we're seeing in the screenshot. Remember that one was 229, but their score was 5,201. Uh, and this score is uh, 3,533. So this clearly seems to be not the correct uh, settings because if my score is lower, but my frame rate is higher, uh, sorry, that's the 169. Uh, we're on the wrong thing here, 269, sorry. Um, so on this one, this is the, uh, uh, yeah, FSR performance frame generation on, okay. Uh, this is 4,234. So I have a lower score, but a higher frame rate. So these can't possibly be the right settings because at a higher frame rate, I'm scoring lower, if that makes sense, right? So I was playing around with the settings from there. I was like, okay, so I need my score to go up, so I should use less demanding, uh, uh, sorry, less aggressive upscaling. Uh, so the next result we're looking at here, which looks almost the same, is FSR set to the quality upscaling setting with frame generation on. And I got about the same results I did at the performance uh, mode upscaling, uh, so it was similarly GPU limited and ended up in a similar overall frame rate, re meaning I think we were uh, CPU limited and this was just how good the CPU could do at these settings. We're getting a, a 269, but again, we're not scoring higher, so these can't be the right settings. So then I tried out um, uh, adjusting the settings again, and this is where I'm playing with the uh, kind of unusual setting that I see in this game, but I've never seen in other games, which again, if I go back here, is this um, uh, upscaling setting where it's biased or not. So scaling mode biased, where it has the description here, 
fixed is upscaling is based on a fixed rendering resolution to the native output resolution. And that's what I always use in this game because to me that seems like how I think it operates in other games where it's the, re the resolution scaling that you get is based on your output resolution, in this case 1080p. Whereas biased is upscaling which is based on the fixed rendering solu uh, solution but in addition, biases it toward a 4K output resolution, which is a bit weird. I don't fully understand exactly what it's doing, but I will say that when you reset to defaults, it selects biased, not fixed. So I went back to biased upscaling, which I don't usually use in my testing in this game, uh, and that's where I arrived at the score that we're seeing here, 5,595 and a frame rate of 281. If we look at this uh, and compare it to uh, what they're getting, uh, so, so first of all, what, what are these settings? So this is FSR biased um, in performance mode upscaling with frame generation on. So 5,595 with a score of 281, and they have a score of 5,201 with an average frame rate of 229. So I was thinking, okay, did I get it? So here's where I decided to look at how, what percentage better is my score uh, versus our frame rate differential. So my score seems to be about 8% better, but my frame rate seems to be over 20% better. So something still seems wrong to me because if it's based on a fixed, if, if the score in this game is based on a fixed scaling uh, to the frame rate that you're getting combined with the graphic settings that you're using, where assuming you're using the same graphic settings should scale evenly with your frame rate advantage. Again, that's some assumptions on how the scoring works in this, in this um, benchmark then unfortunately it still seems like we are not at the correct settings. So, thought I had it here at first, but I still don't think that was it. So then I popped over to this, these settings where I adjust the FSR setting from performance to quality. And now notice that our score is up to 6,607 and our frame rate is 268. Uh, and then I tried some other ones uh, I tried going down to um, uh, using ultra performance upscaling, but then my score went too low. Uh, and then I, I finally settled in here at FSR balanced with the biased upscaling, which again does seem to increase the score compared to when you're using fixed, with frame generation on. So FSR balanced, biased setting on the upscaling, frame generation on 1080p high, I get a score of 6,212 and a frame rate of 274. So I popped back into my calculator and look how closely these line up. Okay, 6,212 versus the, the 5,201 score that they're seeing here uh, is giving me a 19.4% score advantage. And then when we look at my average frame rate of 274 versus their 229, I'm getting a 19.65% advantage. So this seems to be the closest match I, I could get. So uh, again, I cannot guarantee that what I'm getting here actually is the settings that they used in this screenshot. Okay, <laughs> I can't guarantee that. However, it does seem to be the best I can isolate the settings that they're using as far as anything that would make sense to me based on the, uh, the results that we're getting. The one thing that is still making me not feel confident about this is the GPU percentage. Their percentage is much lower than mine. Theirs is at 63. Now, it would actually make sense for mine to be higher. Mine is at 89 because our overall frame rate is higher. So, so I think the GPU would be working harder to keep up with that, meaning we, we didn't become CPU limited a, a, as early. So I think the GPU having to work a bit harder. Another uh, explanation uh, possibly for that would be that the, um, uh, the 7900 XDX that I'm using is an AMD reference model at completely stock settings. And a lot of the more uh, factory overclocked versions with the big coolers on them and things like that, 
uh, could perform a lot better, in which case they wouldn't be, uh, you know, they would be capable of more, leading to lower uh, GPU usage. Uh, anyway, so I, I'm saying, but this is the one line where I feel like uh, maybe we're not quite perfect here, but we wouldn't expect this to be exactly the same at, at different frame rates. Um, anyway, so what do we learn from this, if anything? <laughs> one is that uh, I spent way too long in my afternoon running avatar benchmarks and playing around with this, and I figured I'd share my experience with you. The other is that if... I am correct about my settings here. Uh, it looks like uh, my 7800X3D is performing almost 20% faster than the uh, uh, Ryzen 9 9900X that they have in this system. Now, does that make sense? Uh, well, one thing could be they could be on early software versions, uh, you know, BIOS versions and all of that, uh, because these, these chips haven't launched yet. So what sort of motherboard are they on? What is its settings? What, what is the sample? Um, other things that could be messing with it uh, are, like I said, I, I might just have the graphic settings wrong. However, if they are CPU limited using frame and using frame generation, and that's the highest they could achieve, it does seem to be performing slower than my 7800X 3D. Um, also, there's some memory differences. Uh, here, they have 62 gigabytes uh, reported available, so meaning it's probably 64 gigabytes on the actual system and 62 available to the game. Uh, and I'm on a uh, 32 gigabyte system, so it's possible that in quad channel maybe their memory isn't running. We don't know what speed their memory is running at, right? So that could factor into this as well. In other words, since I'm still not running on the same system as them, um, was this all a complete waste of time? Well, I found it interesting. Hopefully you found it interesting. And just a reminder that AMD did release their official information about this uh, uh, set up uh, claim and their their overall claim is a 16% IPC uplift uh, and not a lot of clock speed increases or anything like that. So um, that's the official claim uh, versus uh, of Zen 5 versus Zen 4. And we don't know how the 7900X will specifically factor into that. And again, this isn't the X3D parts. So I think in general, if this isn't very, uh, if, if this does end up being kind of underwhelming, my thought is uh, for the high-end gaming desktops, it might make sense to wait for their, uh, you know, X3D versions anyway. So hopefully you guys found this interesting as like kind of an investigation piece, I guess. Uh, don't read too much into the specific results that I got. Uh, but that's another reason why I did this, is I saw other people trying to claim, you know, or maybe not claim, but like uh, trying to say, trying to compare with the result in the screenshot. So if you learn nothing else from this, it's that comparing your score to a random screenshot without knowing more details uh, is probably kind of a foolhardy uh, endeavor, and we can't be sure of what hap uh, what it means anyway. <laughs> All right, I've probably wasted enough of your time, everybody. I hope you guys did find this interesting. Anyway, have an excellent day.